Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. All right, hopefully the rain yesterday evening did not interfere too much with your weekend plans. You know we could actually use a little bit more rain. Here is what we're dealing with. The uh, past several months we've been below normal in terms of rainfall. I'm going to start first with June, July, August, otherwise known as the meteorological summer. And you can see we really didn't have that much rain when considering that we're adding up three months total, 8.65 inches of rain. That was almost two inches below normal. Now for September so far, not doing very much better, about a half an inch of rain so far for the month. That's over an inch below normal for this date. And for the rest of the week, there is some rain in the forecast. However, it's only on one day. That would be Tuesday. We'll talk more about those Tuesday details coming up in just a few minutes. Here is that rain which came in last night. We could have used a little bit more. You can see uh, Providence 0.17, Smithfield about a quarter of an inch and about a fifth of an inch down here in Newport. But we'll take what we can get. Blue skies right now over the capital city. Just some beautiful sunrises this morning, especially down towards the coast. You can see in Providence we have temperatures in the low 50s. We're a little cooler here in Gloucester at 47 degrees, 48 in Coventry, 49 Charles town and 51 in westerly. Now wind speeds, they're getting a little stronger as we've gone throughout the past several hours, about 10 miles an hour in Newport, 6 miles an hour in New Bedford, 5 miles an hour in Taunton. Do expect these to get a little busier as we go into the late morning, even early afternoon, but by mid-afternoon, those breezes should really start to relax. 52 your temperature right now in Coventry, Seekonk, you're at 53 degrees, and we do have high pressure in control. So that will keep the clouds and the showers out to sea, and even these clouds trying to build in from the north and the west, I'm not anticipating too many of these making it through today. You may see a few uh, clouds passing from time to time, but more sunshine than clouds, that's for sure. 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we're at 70 degrees. 4 o'clock, we're at 69. Now, the coast will be similar to inland spots today. That's because we have those breezes coming in from that land direction. 70 Charlestown, 70 in Westerly, and 70 in Hope Valley. Wickford at 70 degrees. And we'll look for upper 60s to low 70s here in northern Rhode Island. So a fallish day out there, especially here for Burville and Foster with temperatures in the uh, upper 60s, 70 Johnston and 68 in Cumberland. I'm hearing a lot of people talking about apple picking. Certainly a beautiful day to do that. 71 in Taunton, 70 Fall River, 69 in Little Compton and 70 here in Middletown. Now here's the Eyewitness News Threat Tracker. Now I'm keeping you in the low category for the next several days. We will obviously keep our eye on Tuesday. Should these showers become a little heavier on Tuesday morning and impact the morning commute, then we would elevate that threat tracker status up to uh, yellow, which is the medium category. I did want to just expand on a couple of things here in the seven day future cast. Tomorrow is nice, mostly sunny, very similar to today. Then on Tuesday, the most likely time frame to see the showers pull through would be during the morning. So that's why the morning commute could be affected. Again, stay tuned for details on that. Then it does look like the rain moves out by the afternoon, giving some sunshine with temperatures in the 70s for Tuesday. Now, in terms of some cooler air moving in, even though tomorrow morning will be quite cool in spots down into the mid to upper 40s, I think the coolest air of the season looks to arrive sometime Thursday and Friday. So Friday morning, we'll keep our eye on that. I have upper 40s for the capital city, but outside of Providence and some of our suburbs, wouldn't be surprised if some of these spots potentially go into the 30s, places like Smithfield and especially out into Taunton, those are typical Bristol County, Massachusetts locations, which can get very cool this time of the year in the morning. And notice our afternoon high temperatures only in the mid 60s for Friday. Then on Saturday, mostly sunny skies with a high of 70. If you want more details on the seven day future cast, you can always go over to WPRI.com. Now, Eyewitness Sports.